steals it steals his. Alright, that's really good. I didn't I I didn't think about it stealing his too. Now we can copy it. Like a huge taunt. Welcome to Surviving Standard, guys. Today's deck is called Bloody Mess Paladin. Where does the name come from? Well, a couple things. We are playing a Blood Knight. A couple Blood Knights. This is a deck featuring Blood Knight. And uh, we're going to make a mess of a board with cards like Stand Against the Darkness and Lost in the Jungle. So we're going to spam the board with 1-1s. One and what we're trying to do is make many, many Divine Shield minions. We have, the, of course, Divine Shield 1-drops, Argent Squire, and uh, Righteous Protector. We also are going to play the Steward of Darkshire, which of course combos with all these one health minions to make them Divine Shield. So if you can Divine Shield up an entire board of Standing Against Darkness, and then you hit a Blood Knight, you make an 18-18 Blood Knight, and then you're going to try to taunt the Blood Knight up with Faceless Shambler. Super combo, right? Well, we also have Sea Giants in this deck to go along with all the little 1-1s, one and that of course does combo with the Shambler quite well. At its core, this is a Divine Favor deck. The best cards in the deck are Divine Favor and Sunkeeper Tarim. So anytime you open those in the mulligan, make sure you hang on to them. They are the most important cards. The light did, but we fight. Coining this out is kind of gambling, but it's really good if it uh, if it's if it sticks because we have this plus hero power to make three um, to make three shields. I think it's worth doing because because we can't really uh, run out of cards, right? So, I right, didn't work. Repent. These pings are good if you just pings because again we get more cards here. An incredible discovery! Play around Counterspell, play around Mirror Entity. Alright, that worked. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like a one for one there. I mean, it's not actually that much value. Reporting, Reporting for duty. For duty. <laughs> I'm in charge. So, do we just draw more cards? He's gonna have six. I think we try to get a full hand here. Or blizzards are there. Evil will be purged. The light.
we can uh, if we can Stewart plus this, that's really good. Uh oh. All right, we do have the counter to that. We need to draw like some sort of. No, we didn't get it. Reporting for duty. Secret is the uh, noble sacrifice. Hmm. Definitely doesn't have flame strike, right? He would have easily have just flame striked. I don't think he has meteor either, because it's a pretty easy meteor too. Ooh, that's kind of that doesn't give you a thing though. I don't know why he did that. Life, or do we do we just pop him? One, two, three, four, five, six. We could pop him. Hmm. The battle. Blood will I obviously blessing the wrong one. I should have blessinged just a random three three, I guess. I must decide. See, my original process thought process was I was gonna play this first, make this cheaper, kill off his thing, and then copy a thing. But but, but being able to proc him there sure. seems really good. For Lorthamar! Act now! Reporting for duty. No more ice blocks, so he, he can he can sort of uh clear us with AoE maybe, but Thanks for making it to the end of the video guys. If you want to see more of this deck, please click on the link to the left. If you want to see more decks in this series, click on the link to the right. And if you want to see the channel grow, please click that subscribe button in the middle. To watch me build the decks live, I'm on Twitch. Follow the link below. 
thanks guys and I will see you next time